Black Geek here again, and I wanted to show my, you know, appreciation for Nintendo making a great console. Like, this system has been one of my favorites ever since it came out last year. And best way to put it is, it's in my top five favorite video game consoles of all time. And these are the only games I have for it so far. But there's a lot more that I want to get. I'm going to talk about a little bit of some of them one by one. But not in too much detail. The first one is Mario Rabbits. Plus Mario plus Rabbits. My goodness. I cannot... Uh, let me... Let me put this. The the rabbits annoy the crap out of me. But after playing this game, it put a whole new perspective of the rabbits for me. They're they're kind of funny, well, in this game at least. And I can't stress enough how fun this game is. Like, I play this quite a bit. And... You would think the mishmash of Mario and Rabbits would be like, Why? Why would you... Why? But, like, my favorite character in here is the Yoshi Rabbit. The Donkey Kong Rabbit. And, of course, the Peach Rabbit. Peach Rabbit. Matter of fact, I like the Luigi one too, cause he he is more his abilities I like, cause you know he got this vampire ability and blah blah blah. But I don't want to keep talking about it. This game is freaking amazing. I should have put this at the bottom, cause I keep talking about it. If I know that there's a lot of people out there that hates the rabbits, and there's people that loves the rabbits, and there's people that love Mario. And there's people who just love Mario. Pick this game up. You will not be disappointed. I promise you. It's just like XCOM. And I've never played an XCOM game in my life. I don't... Is Red Alert part of XCOM? Yeah, I can let me know in the comments. But I played Red Alert. I don't know if that's the same thing as XCOM. But they got the same kind of grid-based tactical strategy RPG thing going on but way more colorful way more funnier and just seeing Mario and Luigi and with a gun is hilarious but it's not like a oh a nine millimeter or something like that it's like a I, I call them little Mega Man blasters that's what I call them because I'm a little Mega Man so I'm going with that and some of like some of the upgrades are hilarious. And if you, uh, you know, got the game on launch, maybe in the new packaging still too, you can get the pixel pack, which the guns are a little bit stronger at the beginning, but they're cool because everything they shoot is like very pixelated, and it's something about that I like. Maybe growing up on the NES is probably why. Next game is one of my favorite fighting series other than King of Fighters of course. Um Ultra Street Fighter 2. Now, a lot of people didn't like this. Like they feel that they were ripped off cuz I think this game started off at uh $40, I believe. Got this game on launch, pre-ordered it and everything because I have so many memories of playing Street Fighter 2 in the arcades. My brothers, I was barely able to kind of see over the arcade thing, so they had me with on, they put me on a stool. And, you know, at our liquor store, they always had a little stool for me, so I could climb up and be able to play it. And, like, the day I learned how to do a Hadouken was, like, the best day of my life. My brother kept trying to teach me how to do it, but I, I just couldn't grasp it. I was like, how am I going to do a half circle? It, 
and then press the button like I didn't have dystectory, uh, not dystectory, I didn't have the fun body functions or something yet to do that. But after I got used to it on the uh, fight pad, well, arcade stick, I got good. And then later on, it came out on the Super Nintendo, you know, it was just Street Fighter and then Super Street Fighter. And I just remember us having, uh, like, Street Fighter two turbo that's the one i remember us having but i think later on we did end up getting super street fighter because my favorite char character was cammy and you know i just like the cannon drill cannon glue i love that. that that just is something about that i don't know i i pick her over chun li and that's surprising to a lot of people and you know i i started learning more and more about the mechanics of the game and it was like, wow, this game is amazing. But then they came out with like 15 different versions of it, which is fine because that was back in the day when you, you know, there was no updates or anything like that. But this one here has updated visuals. You can play in a classic way. You can have the, the original music with the new sprites or the, uh, oh, in the, new music with the old sprites and vice versa whichever way you want to do it i think the graphics are very pretty and this also came this was originally based off of um street fighter 2 hd online edition i believe that's what it was called don't quote me but uh, it was on the xbox uh 360 and the ps3 so that was one of the um things I liked it about this was the final challenger too so this one had a kuma in it you had to do some crazy little combination like old school or combination to unlock them and you can't just like unlock them you do it that one time and if you want to pick them again you gotta go through all that again and then they the biggest addition to this was the violent Ken and evil Ryu now it's basically palette swaps for the most part, but they're really good palette swaps because they do have some key different animations from them, especially Violent Ken. I mean, you know, it, Violent, this is the first time Violent Ken has ever been in a Street Fighter game. His first appearance was in SNK versus Capcom Chaos. Yeah, that's what it was. And that's the first time he showed up. And ever since then, there was no Violent Ken. I mean, in the Street Fighter 2 animated series, he, there was a evil Ken or a violent Ken. People say that that's violent Ken, but that was really just imbibing, controlling him with some kind of psycho power. Okay. There was other one other mo mode in this game that I want to talk about. The way of the Hado. This is a terrible mode. I mean, if you can get it to work with the motion controls, you, it's fun to be like Ryu and it looks like Street Fighter 4. And you just kind of take out Shadow Lou and, you know, you just throw Hadoukens and then you do the, I call it the Facta Lukin and the, the Sure you can you can do that correctly. And that's about it in there. And there's also artwork. Like never perceived, never before seen artwork that they never released in any art book or anything. So yeah, there there's that, and I love looking at that. I love art books. It's something about them, especially when they hardcover and deluxe looking. I I just want to put them on my coffee table. Like yeah, read that or read the pictures. Well, no, you can't read pictures. Well, you can look at the pictures. The next one, this was imported from. Um, play Asia and I, I like everything physical and I am Susuna is one of the games that you know it, it, it's it's pretty good it, if you remember Chrono Trigger that's what this basically is just in a snowy environment the colors and stuff is a little bland but the gameplay is pretty okay I would recommend playing it because at the time, it w you know, wasn't that many RPGs. 
but I would suggest uh, downloading it or whatnot. It's still a great game, but I think if you want to get the physical copy, it's probably going to cost you a pretty penny now because, you know, scalpers and all. But it is a good game. I don't want to tell none of the story, but it's a, it's a decent one. The next one is... Ooh, GameStop shit. Um, my wife got me this uh, for Christmas because I like Steven Universe. I love Steven Universe and Adventure Time and regular show. So she got me this because I rant and rage, especially about Steven Universe. And she got this game. And it's basically Streets of Rage... Or any beat em up you can think of just with cartoon character and cartoon network characters with battle crash uh that's why they call it battle crashers because i guess they go beat up people they i guess they didn't want to use the word beat up but this is a surprising it's a little repetitive but it is a fun game i didn't expect to, it to be this fun but i played the crap out of it and you know Surprisingly enough, Steven Universe is not that good. I don't know why Steven, Steen, Steven is not good. But, you know, if you want to, the character I usually use is uh, probably Gumball or Finn, actually. And, or if uh, Mordecai and Rigby is available, at, at which it was at the beginning, it's pretty good. But I, I don't like Clarence. I don't like the TV show. I don't like his. I don't like it too much. But if you do, that that's you. That's good. But I've seen the. See the thing is, I look at things in a interesting way. I can see that people like the game. I mean, like the pe like like something, and then I'll say, I don't really like it, but it's, it's cool if you like it. But I and most of the time I can see why people like it from another perspective. But I so I'm sure Clarence is probably a good show. I tried to watch it, but it wasn't my type of thing. But uh, if you if you look closely, Mordecai got the power glove. Yes, every that I. That's probably why I like Mordecai's uh, character on here so much because he got the power glove. Because every kid wanted to be Captain N and everything else. So Cartoon Network Battle Crashers, I suggest you play it. Okay, this one needs no introduction, really. Zelda Breath of the Wild. I played quite a bit of this game. I beat it, but I... I beat it by accident. I made a mistake and went too far, and then I ended up fighting Ganon. That that was my thing. I made a mistake, and then I went in there and ended up fighting Ganon. Beating the game and not telling the ending. But, um... The, the game is straight up beautiful. It is beautiful. And since I think I, I sometimes I I can't stick to one thing, I play the game, and then I'd be like, oh, I'm over there cooking one thing, and then I'm like, hey, look at that mountain. And for some odd reason, I try my best to climb that mountain and see what's up top there. And there's usually something up there. You know, I, I've been trying to get all the Korok seeds and all that. I don't like the weapon breaking. That's the only thing I can say that I don't like about the game the weapon breaking the you know it being open world and all that you know my favorite zelda is wind waker which i hope they bring out to the switch you know a hd version of wind waker so i can have that portable the thing with this game is you know you can go some places and then you can just get messed up pretty bad you know I remember running into the Guardians. I didn't know what to do. So when I seen the Guardians, I was like, oh my goodness, what the heck? I, of course, I, I don't know why. I tried to fight it, and then I died. One shot killed. It, it just was, it wasn't even funny. And this game is like endless gameplay. I haven't got the DLC because I kind of want that motorcycle stuff. And I like when you use the Amiibo and the big crater just drop. On you know, it just drops and you just get random things. My favorite thing to do in the game is cooking 
I, I don't know why. I like cooking. I just like hearing that do 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 ping sound. I like that. And just seeing what I could come up with. I could look up a guide and see what all the things I could make, but I like to see what I can make. I can see if I screw up or whatnot. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, this game is a port. That's first thing to Morse. But it has all the down, downloadable content from previous game, the previous game on the Wii U that probably no one ever played. And they basically added all the DLC and then they added the Inklings, which is my favorite character to use in the game. Um, they added a few uh, modes, it's particularly battle mode, like a correct battle mode. It's more like a like a classic battle thing, like on the 64, I believe. The 64 is the best example I can give, because I remember playing that a little. Um, other than that, it's, it's basically Mario Kart 8. You really can't go wrong with it. I wish they would have added a Birdo. Once again, wish they would have added a Birdo, but hey, I'm not working at Nintendo and all that. And shout outs to Sounds Nerdy. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have this game. <laughs> and I, I, I thank you every time I think about it. Like, each time I do a video, for some reason, I, I think about it like, this was like super nice of these guys to just like, oh, yeah, you, you know, I won it. You know, I almost didn't get it because I, you know, I, I wasn't checking my email. And... Luckily, I did. I got to talk to him. Charles is a really nice guy. And, you know, he he sent this out to me, you know. And, every, you know, and I still need to play a few rounds with him in Mario Kart. We got to get that going. See how that works out. I mean, I just want to see your skills. That's all. I just want to see your skills, Charles. Just saying. Next game is Wonder Boy. Now this this is a like a remake of the game. It's literally the uh, one from the Sega Master System, and with beautiful hand drawn animation. But you can't play it in the classic mode. And even your old passwords from the, the Master System days will work on this. Which is, is, is crazy. Like, when did the the Master System came out in, like, 86? My goodness. And you can use the passwords on here. That If you want the retro feel, you can have, you know, Wonder Boy, the Dra Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap is a good game to get. It, you know, it, it's, it's not too difficult. It gets difficult in certain parts, but you can transform into different animals. You get kind of cursed. And you get trans into like a mouse, a dragon, and some other things too. And they got their own abilities to get across. You can go either anywhere you want to go as long as you got a key or whatever. The game is really, really good. I had this game like a long time ago when I was a kid. I That's the funny story. I traded my some Archie comics to my friend because... His dad is uh, gave him like the Sega Master System or something, but no one ever heard of this thing. And we we played it. I went over there and I played it. Like, oh wow, this is pretty cool and all that. And then I think like a year or two later, I think a some system came out. I'm I'm assuming that it was the Super Nintendo or whatever. And he he didn't care for it no more. He didn't play it or anything like that. So he ended up saying. If you want to trade for it, I, you know, I can trade, I like, hmm, I, like, I can trade you some Archie comics, and that's his old school, I, I traded him, like, 30, I think, like, 30 or 40 copies of, uh, Archie comics, particularly, because he likes Archie like I did, so, I traded 40 of those, or 35, I'm not sure, but a stack of Archie comics, to him, 
and he gave me the master system and this was one of the games that came with it and to this day i was like oh my goodness it, it took me a long time to beat it because I, I was a kid so yeah it, it lasted quite a while as long as you kept your password had to write down the password and all that old memories uh, yeah I, that's how i got a second master system you know i I had a Sega Genesis, but I had a Sega Master System too. I was probably like one of the very other than the person that I got it from was like probably the only person that had it. And it, it came with some other games like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, which was kind of weird because it came out on the Sega Genesis and the Master System. And then there was some other thing. It was one one other game it came with too, I believe, wrestling. And the guy's head was like decapitated or Maybe he didn't have a head on his head. Maybe he had his own head in the headlock. Or he had someone else in the headlock. But if you look up wrestling uh, for the Sega Master System, look at the box art and you'll see how freaky it looks. I don't know if that's his head or because his body don't have his head. Maybe it is his head. I don't. I, you know what? I'm getting into a tangent. I don't know. It always just kind of uh, freaked me out about that. They had the worst covers, except for like the Sonic one. And Wonder Boy, those like it seems like the main Sega titles they had their uh, own thing. But I, I went into a tangent. But Wonder Boy Dragon Trap is a good game. It you can beat it maybe in like I think like ten hours or something if you actually know what you're doing. I, I feel that you know if you explore and all that stuff and all your errors and stuff it, it'll last you a while but i suggest anybody to pick up this game it's really good and it came with goodies too i believe yep it did remember that it came with an instruction booklet that that's something isn't it that is that's that is a thing and it, it it's, it's crazy and it came with i never took it out but it's a cute little dragon keychain I, I wanted to put this on, or it might be a cell phone charm, I'm not sure, but I really wanted to put this on something, but I was like, it's too cute, and I don't want to lose it, and it's kind of foamy and squishy, and it's been, they have it, there's one other thing in here, which, it, which I found kind of funny, a little GameCube size disc, but it's a little soundtrack, I think it got a few, I listened to it, it has maybe, uh, like, four tracks on it or something it's like a sampler or whatever so yeah and the artwork is beautiful like i like when they got the artwork on the inside that, that's nice it's a reversible cover so you know that's the other side but i i kept it on this side also you could be a, a girl in this one like you could be the first time ever being a wonder girl and i have been talking about this game way too much because I guess, I mean, I could sit here and talk about this all day. But I'm, I'm trying to not do that. But I'm, I'm going to move on. Okay, Shine Morn EX. I think that's what I'm saying, right? This is like a underwater shooter. It's like a side-scrolling shooter. That's what it is. You know, I'm, that's what kind of enticed me to get it. No other reason. It was just... You know, you're a side-scrolling shooter, and, you know, you you shoot things. And it's it's relatively hard, though. I've never beat it. I've been trying to. But it, you get these little save point uh, checkpoints, so it makes it a little easier. But if you, you know, you got to get used to the controls. But it's, it's just your type of shooter. But it's it's pretty good. I would recommend it. That's why I've kept it. It's because it's still a good game. Okay. Arms. Arms is a good game. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you playing this with someone. Like if you playing with a friend. Not just somebody random online or something. Your arms get a workout. Like they do. I feel like I got guns now. Because I've been playing it so much. Now. The thing is, it was la at the beginning it was lacking a lot of content, and that was that was a problem, and that is 
that's the main problem. It has lacked content. Like if you play the arcade mode, I think championship mode or whatever it's called, it's it, it it's not even worth it, you know, because well, it is because you want to get all the arms and stuff. So yeah, for each character. But with the update, they gave all these extra characters like Max Brass, which is like the end character, and you know. Like, my favorite character, like, everybody was over there talking about waifus and stuff. It was always men, men for the win-win for me. That's just me. That's just me. Bowl of ramen, his arms, I'm just saying. I'm just... But, um, if this goes on sale, get it. And if you have a whole bunch of friends that you could be right next to and play it, yeah, get it. I would suggest this. Uh, nope, ain't come with nothing. It was a little awkward at first to get used to the arm thing, the, the thumb thing. It, that was hard to get used to. But uh, and if it drops its price, you know what, get it. I, I, I wouldn't even suggest not to get it, but just get it if it's you know, on sale or something. Check the eShop or check local stores or Black Friday. It might be on sale then this year. Mario Odyssey. Now... I, you, you, this game is amazing. Like, the worlds are beautiful and lush and bright and colorful. And you could be a dinosaur. You could, you could be a freaking dinosaur. You, you can capture a dinosaur with your hat thingy. With Cappy, particularly. That alone should be enough to buy this game but it has so much content and updates now too the ad they added uh a few moons i believe costumes uh, or outfits or whatever they even got something for the retro fans you go through a tunnel not a tunnel but a pipe and then you turn into a little 2d mario and go walk and walk and walk and when you got a full outfit of one thing that matches It'll be that particular uh, sprite going across when you're jumping over things like the Donkey Kong one when you do the particular quest with Paul, uh, Paulatina and all that. It, this game is amazing. I suggest everybody pick up Mario Odyssey. Please. That I mean, if you, get, if you start off your Switch collection, Mario Odyssey and Zelda should be your first two games. You should be good. And if you got, if you're balling like this, balling like that, I would suggest, for the variety's sake, Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is like a shooter that, not a mainstream shooter. It's people that like Splatoon, and then there's the people who just prefer their Call of Duty. This is my type of Call of Duty right here. Colorful, loud obnoxious colors nickelodeon feeling style driven squids and they just had a, a update of a uh, dlc a octo uh, i was about to say octo pass traveler i was about to say octo pass traveler no octo expansion and you can you know play that and i haven't played that yet i you know i i plan to download it eventually and it's a Splatoon is a, about basically inking your opponents with ink, and you put you shoot ink on the ground to cover them as much ink as you possibly can to win the match. Then there's the rank ma uh, matches that's uh, like tower defense. Uh, I can't think of them all right now, but that's like highly competitive. And, you know, it, they done put up, you can get all the way up to an X rank. I don't know what that means, because I ain't no X rank. I am a B. I am a B rank. I was an A rank, and then now I'm a B rank. So, because I, 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 I'm, I'm blaming the team. Blaming the team. But if you want to have some multiplayer online fun, get this. And the Splatfests are really fun, because they... The last one they did was the Ninja Turtles one. It was Raphael versus Leonardo. I was Team Raph because my favorite color is red. And then 
then the next week they did Donatello versus Michelangelo. Of course, I picked Donatello because I was I'm a nerd. I grew up as a nerd, and I relate to him a lot. And that's my favorite turtle. And I used to use a in martial art. I used to uh, know how to use a bow staff. That also helped too. Cause yeah. Um. Then they, the tournament, whoever won those two tournaments went up to the main tournament. Which was, I believe, Raphael versus Donatello. And Donatello won, of course, because he's the best turtle. Fight me in the comments. And, yeah, this... They have a Splatfest, I think, every month. And it's really fun, you know. You, this is one of those games that you could play for hours. Unlock clothing, which is gear and different weapons with different abilities. It, this is a really fun game. I re highly recommend it. If you like the multiplayer shooters, I think you would like Splatoon. And the final game I have is Fire Emblem Warriors. Fire Emblem Warriors is a Muso game. Where you you have usually have one character or three or something depending on the scenario and you go through waves and waves of enemies. You kill millions and thousands, thousands and millions of them. The game is really good. You know, it has a story mode. Story mode was okay. And then they got the, the hero mode, which is basically, we go turn up the difficulty up a notch. And you can level up and get new items weapons and you can uh, just like in any other fi uh, fire emblem you can create uh, better relationships with characters by you know putting them to, uh, they fighting alongside each other and they got all these over the top super moves and then when you build your character up and you can use your amiibo also to uh Get some extra equipment and stuff every day. I think you can use up to like three or five amiibo at a time. So, uh, yeah. That's all the uh, Switch games that I have at the moment. I plan to get way more. Unless some nerdy want to send some more. I mean, I'm just saying. Hey, whatever. But, <laughs> thank you for watching and Black Geek out.